Hey. Can you? Okay. Okay. Now I can start. Hi, I'm Nikki Lima. Welcome back to my channel. If you're coming back, if you're not coming back, then welcome new person to my channel. Great. Now that that's settled, I've seen this trend, if you will, of people making videos of buying the first five things that Facebook ads recommend them, or the first five things that Instagram ads recommend them, or the first five things that YouTube ads recommend them. And I just want to say that I don't need a video trend to be a product of consumerism on Facebook and Instagram. I buy things off those ads all the time. I do understand why this trend would be popular because Facebook and Instagram tend to recommend some really weird shit sometimes. It kind of reminds me of like a modern day Sky Mall. So I'm gonna review some of the purchases that I've made from Facebook and Instagram ads over the past six months. And I'll tell you what was hit or miss for me. And maybe I'll try some things on so it could become a try on haul because that's also something YouTube likes. I just want to do the things the algorithm favors. Anyway, let's get into this. So the first thing that I ever purchased off of a Facebook or Instagram ad was this Commit 30 planner. It's a weekly planner that organizes your schedule and your life. I purchased it pretty much immediately when I saw the ad. I happen to be a huge fan of all things notebook, journaling, writing, and documenting your stupid life. I've kept a daily journal since I was six years old. I've always liked to make my journals more visual. Sometimes I would insert a picture of the boy I had a crush on. Sometimes I would draw pictures of my angry feelings in high school. I'm also a big fan of lists. Daily lists, to-do lists, grocery lists, you name it, I'll list it. Go ahead, name some things, I'll list them. So this appealed to me immediately. I can't remember what the exact original ad I saw for it was. It was something like this. It came with stickers, which was sold separately, but worth it, totally worth it. I may be a sticker addict now. I'm addicted to stickers. Asticted. <laughs> My old to-do list that I used for years was weekly and it was extremely efficient at helping me get stuff done. I would just list everything out for the week and then I would go do it. This Commit 30 planner is not efficient at all at helping me get stuff done, but it looks really pretty and it is an excellent procrastination tool for organizing all my stress in a visual, pretty, artistic way. And it also fulfills a creative release when I get to look back and see how cute my schedule was. <laughs> but seriously, I spend a lot of the morning just deciding what stickers to put down. I'm just one person. How does one person decide on a sticker so quickly? You can't do it. I like to color code mine. Also, I could go on, I think, forever about this, so I'm gonna move on. Overall, definitely would recommend. I love this. I've bought it for some of my friends. They like it. Do they get things done with it? Absolutely not, but we are damn addicted to stickers. I rate it 9 out of 10. The 1 out of 10 part is just because I just want to plan all day, but not actually do any of the things I planned. Oh look, now it's a try-on haul. Fits perfectly. The next thing I purchased were these angel wing dresses. Because of how intricate the angel wings were in the picture and the way that the photograph was, I thought I was getting like a really nice dress for a reasonable price. They were $50 a piece. I thought, hey, maybe I could wear the white one to my bachelorette party. That didn't happen because sadly it took two months to come in. I actually forgot that I ordered them by the time they got to my house. Also, they were made in some factory in China, which I didn't know. Otherwise, I would have sized that shit up because Asian sizes are way smaller than US sizes by at least a size. Because they were made in China, it also means that you can find them easily on Amazon. Like, I'm talking there's at least 10 stores with the exact same picture of the exact same model wearing the exact same dress. And you could buy them for $11 a piece, which means not $50 a piece if you were to know that, if you were to know all this information before purchasing. They were very, very flattened and folded in the tiniest envelope I have ever seen clothes arrive in. It took me 45 minutes to get all the wrinkles out of the black dress. I didn't even touch the white dress because I was like, I'm over it. The material is like the type of material they make cheap tents with at Walmart. Like you're literally wearing a tent material. You could probably make this dress out of a tent that you purchased at Walmart and you would have saved yourself a lot of money. And you would have gotten a tent with a hole in it. 
it's two for the price of one. So I put it on, try on haul. It is really, really short. Like I'm five foot four, not a tall person. It was super short on me. Hopefully you're not at a table where you like kind of bend over a tiny bit because your whole entire asshole is gonna show off to the world. I think overall these belong in the bargain bin at a Halloween discount store at best. I give it two out of 10 and the two is only because of each pair of angel wings that I could repurpose possibly. Oh, and also the dress company keeps showing up as an Instagram ad on my Instagram still after I already bought the only two products that they sell. Why do you keep advertising to me? Do you think that I'm gonna purchase refills on shitty clothes? It's like seeing a, a Tinder date that went bad that keeps showing up. I don't know, I'm married. This analogy doesn't work for me. Okay, so this one I originally saw on Facebook. However, when I first saw the ad, I had given up online shopping for Lent. Lent is a Catholic tradition where you give up something you really love for 40 days. And this year it happened to be online shopping, which was surprisingly way more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Anyway, I saw the, an ad for this cat kangaroo pouch hoodie while I was on sabbatical and I really wanted it. And then I forgot about it, which also is a sign that you probably don't need that thing. But hello, of course I need this. I'm pretty sure there's a law that if somebody invents a cat hoodie that fits your cat in the pocket of it, that you have to buy it. I think you have to buy it. I think that's an intercontinental law. Um, so I did that, but I couldn't remember what site was advertising to me on Facebook. So I just Googled cat hoodie kangaroo pouch and this one was the cheapest one. I think I purchased this for like $20. Again, however, did not know that this was also made in China. So Asian sizes ordered the wrong size. They should really put a disclaimer on there. It fits me, it's just a little tight in certain places, like weird places, like the hood. Like the hood is, I think, made for a tiny, tiny child like a tiny seven-year-old child. I don't know whose head fits in this that is an adult person. Nobody in this room. The original hoodie that I saw was kind of oversized and had like a huge pocket for the cat. The cat's like swimming in this pocket. This pocket like tightly, snugly fits a cat. And I really thought that I was gonna love this sweatshirt and my cats were gonna hate it. And what happened was actually the opposite. Franklin, loves this sweatshirt. I think the snugness is a uh, positive for him. A positive, if you will, <laughs> won't you? I think it makes him feel like he's being hugged constantly. So he doesn't want to get out. He will sit there and he will play with the little dangly toy balls. In this part of the video, he was way too sleepy to play with the little toy ball thingies, but he usually loves them in the morning. So the material on this particular version of this sweater from the Meow Shop is very, very thin. Not a sweatshirt material, like super, super thin. It has little thumb holes if you wanna pretend you have little paws. So that's kind of cute. That's a plus. I, in my book, I think that's a plus. The hood part of it, again, it's way too tight. Makes you look like you're a thumb. It does not look good. It comes with little ears on the hoodies, but the ears don't stay up like they're supposed to. It looks like you're pregnant, but not in like the majestic, glowy, cool way of being pregnant. Like, like you have a floppy pillow baby inside of you and you're trying to hide it from the world, which what you should do in that situation if you ever find yourself impregnated with a floppy pillow baby in your womb. Luckily, floppy pillow babies are extinct. The next thing I bought, I just talked about this in a favorites video, but Brook Linen Sheep. These were originally advertised to me on Facebook and I didn't get them because I felt very fooled by sheets in the past. So when I saw the ad for this, the sheets looked very tempting. They look like sheets that you wanna fall asleep in right now. Anyone that knows me in real life knows that my favorite activity is sleep. I'm always the first one to sleep at a party. I'm sorry, I don't mean to ruin the party. You're not boring. You are not boring. If I fall asleep at your party, it's not anything to do with you. It's just that I loved your party. I loved it. I loved it so much that I felt so comfortable sleeping there at the party. It's my favorite thing to do. I bought a duvet cover and the Lux set of sheets and I love them. We have such good sleep now. So yeah, Brooklyn sheets, just put this in a favorites video, still a favorite. I just bought a comforter from them and a second set of sheets. Not sponsored, no ad, hashtag no ad. They tweeted me though, so I feel like <laughs> we're kind of like chill with each other. Anyway, the next thing, or I guess things that I purchased were from a Facebook ad 
for lulus.com. I'm 90% sure that this is 100% true, that Facebook listens to you. <laughs> During this time is when I started talking about how I wanted to dress more chic and I was doing bits with Steve about being a chic wife and this was before I even purchased anything related to that and this site kept getting advertised to me. So I looked through all their clothes and they were pretty reasonably priced and what I like about the site is that they curate from a bunch of different sites and a lot of the different sites are ones that I already shop at. So maybe Facebook connected those things but I don't know. I'm pretty sure Facebook listens to you. Like to your voice. To your voice. Your human voice. So from lulus.com I have purchased this dress. This romper that looks like a dress. A, a romp press? I don't know, but look at these legs. Look at these dance moves. You didn't ask for it, but there it is. This tank top, this necklace, and this belt. Everything I've purchased from Lulu so far I, has fit perfectly, and I really like it. Um, obviously something that hasn't been advertised to me is an iron or a steamer. All these clothes are very wrinkled, and hey, you know what? I It's my chic life. I'm gonna chic however I want to chic. And lastly, my most recent purchase is this Weekender bag from Soul Society. I actually haven't gotten to use this yet because it is so new. I just got it like a week ago. This was originally advertised to me on Facebook. It's a weekend Weekender bag is what it's called and we are often gone for the weekend like just the weekend It would be nice to not have to take a whole roly carry-on bag with you just for the weekend I like this bag because it looks better than my duffel bag. It also has a lot of room inside It has pockets for whatever you need pockets for it fits a lot of clothes like surprisingly a lot of clothes workout outfits pajamas a couple different going out outfits, casual clothes, and then in the bottom there's a shoe compartment and it can fit probably up to three pairs of shoes. I put a pair of wedges and a pair of flats in there and those fit perfectly fine. It also has this adjustable shoulder strap which I like, it's very comfortable. I have a really bad back so I'm not really keen on shoulder straps but this one's actually pretty comfortable. I also like the color, it goes with a lot of my very chic outfits that I got from Lulu's. I would recommend it based on what I've seen so far. I have not used it yet. What sold me was the shoe compartment. It fits shoes separately from your clothes. Who knew that such a little detail like that would just really hook me. That was the hook for me. Regular bit bag, eh, I got a duffel bag, it's fine. But shoe compartment? Excuse me, did you say shoe compartment? Okay. All right. That's it for the purchases that I've made from Facebook that I wanted to review for you today. I will continue to consume and make purchases that if you want me to share with you, I would be glad to. Also subscribe so you don't miss any of this. Also I have shirts on sale if you are interested in that. You should check it out. teespring.com slash store slash Nikki Limo. You know, I don't know. Let's be friends. Bye.